Okay, back for another High Tide and Bive. I'm here with Hacksaw Jim Dumbass over here, fucking doing bullshit. See, someone asked, hey, where's your brother? How come he's not in these videos you do now? I was like, I don't know, he's dead or something. But he's not dead, he came back. Get the fuck away with that shit, you motherfucker. All right. <clears throat> See, he's alive. I'm gonna start grinding on my axe again. I don't wanna hear what about what you're grinding on, you fucking freak. <laughs> fucking bullshit. All right, so we got another Alexander Keys here. This is their uh, 7579 Hoppy Logger. I don't know what the fuck's... 7579, what is this? <clears throat> Your expressive display of Hoppy, blah, 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 character. Just like the 7,579 7, kilometers of Nova Scotia coastline. Okay. Really original, guys. Okay. 5.5% um, alcohol by volume. And I think what they're going for here is... Um, if you recall a few years back, there was this big influx of session IPAs or uh, IPLs or whatnot. And, you know, it'd be like either a low alcohol lager with a lot of hops to the point where it sort of tastes like an IPA or um, just, you know, an ale that has been uh, taken down in alcohol so much but still has the hops that a regular IPA would have. So. I think what they're doing here is it's kind of like the IPL, except the alcohol is definitely a little bit higher. Uh, we're 5.5% on this. So there you go. And of course they got their um, pastel painting labels on this stuff for the Alexander Keys uh, sort of craft line, pseudo craft line, whatever you want to call it these days. I don't know. The lines are so blurred now that does does it even really matter? Is there such thing as craft beer anymore? I'll leave that discussion up for someone uh, more philosophical about these things like Massive Matt beer reviews or whatever. He can come up with something intelligent to say. I'm just a dumbass. So, looking at it here, nice orange color, looks like orange juice. Kind of hazy. Yeah. Not much of a head going on here. Great to the aroma. Hmm. I'm sort of getting like a sweet floral. A character, but underneath it, there's a bit of a grapefruit character as well. Did I say anything about what the tropical fruit character? Okay, I guess you could say that. These things are just like there's so many hops these days that are so popular, like these tropical fruit hops and things like that, that are just. People are just throwing these things in these beers, and <clears throat> half the time, I don't know, maybe it's just getting older and my nose is dying, my, my sense of smell is dying, but it feels like a lot of these are just, they all smell the same kind of thing. This smells a little different. Like I said, there's, there's kind of a floral thing going on mixed with the sort of tropical uh, fruit kind of idea here, grapefruit or whatever else is going on there. Um, so it's a little different. Go to the taste. Cheers. Now he's in there grinding on shit. Hey. You piece of shit. People want to know my opinion on oh, beer, yeah, 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 especially yeah. from Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, and Newfoundland, boy. Although I've never had a beer from Newfoundland. Um, yeah. So taste-wise, yeah, kind of like... <laughs> 
tropical fruit cup kind of thing. Like, it's just... It's got kind of a grapefruit in there. It's got kind of like maybe a kind of a mango, kind of coconut, almost pineapple thing in the background. Um, whole mishmash of shit. It's like drinking kind of like drinking the juice from a tropical fruit cup. But it does have a bit of that grainy malt bite in the background. Um, some nice dryness, a little bit of mild bitterness. I don't know if it's noticeably a lager. Motherfucker. Just a second, folks. Boy, I'm going to beat your ass. I'm going to beat the fuck out of you, motherfucker. Fucking with my video production. Smack you around, Bubba. I'm going to take you down the basement, then to the woodshed, and then throw your ass in the outhouse, boy. Dag nab it. Yeah, so this tastes good. I. It's hard to say if it's like noticeably a lager, though. It, like it's so hopped up and so like flavorful. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying like it's super complex and amazing or anything. It's, but there is a, like a lot of different flavors going on and. Man, I might have called it an IPL instead of hoppy lager, but I guess that's just, you know, splitting hairs or whatever. Um, I actually kind of want to grade this on sort of like the IPL style more than hoppy lager, whatever that means. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. This is fine. It's tasty. I'm not sure I'd want like a, a bunch of them. Like I said, it's it's kind of like drinking a tropical fruit cup juice thing mixed with beer. Like if you dump that in a beer kind of thing. So it's kind of feels a little iffy, but it's all right. Um, Style-wise for an IPL, and I've had a few of those in my day, so um, I feel confident giving a grade on that. Uh, I'm going to throw about a six. Could be better. Could be a bit more refreshing. Could be a bit more crisp. Could be a bit more, um, well, a little less like a fruit cup, I guess, is, is the way to put it. Um, overall enjoyment, uh, I'm going to go six, five. I'm not too big on this. It's fine. But yeah, it, it just feels, it just feels like they didn't know what they were looking to do here. I don't know. Could be wrong. Could be exactly what they wanted. And if that's the case, then, well, their idea of what they want from uh, a beer is probably way different than I than what I want. But um, that's neither here nor there. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll see you later. Hey, Scott. Go fuck yourself. <laughs>